Hi guys and welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. In this spray paint art video I'll be trying out the Cobra HP spray paint to see what it's like for spray paint art. So the Cobra HP spray paint comes in a 400ml can and has an eye pressure valve system. It also comes with a red skinny stock cap, the lacquer base is acrylic, it has a matte finish and there are around 140 colours in the range and the price per can may vary depending on what country you live in. In the UK it's around £3.75 a can. And the colours I'll be using are Venom, which is red, Ray, which is yellow, Satin Black, which is black, and White, which is white. Right then, before I go any further, I'd just like to say these are my own thoughts and findings about how well a Cobra HP spray paint works for making spray paint art. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is a cap test to see how the cap sprays. So I'll be using the stock cap that comes with the cans in this video, which is a red skinny stock cap. And I'll be doing the cap test on a 4 inch wide piece of glossy card. Right then, before you use the cans, make sure you give them a good shake for at least two minutes each. And when you get them, there'll be a plastic cap on them like this. This is only there to protect the cap, so it doesn't spray everywhere while in transit. So like I said, I'm going to be doing the cap test on this piece of card here. So I'll move these cans out of the way, take the caps off them all. So I'll be using black for the cap test. Remember, give them a good shake for at least two minutes. So this will be the first time I'm using the Cobra Eye Pressure Paint, the Cobra HP. So I'm not sure how it'll turn out, but let's give it a go and try. So I'm just going to spray a bit of paint out, bring the paint through the cap. So as you can see there, the cap's produced a thin to medium line, about two inches wide, but it didn't let too much paint out, which is good. So now the cap test is out of the way, I'm going to see what it's like to paint with. So for this space painting, I'll be using glossy card, which is A2 in size. And the materials I'll be using are, I'm going to be using a couple of big lids. These are just food tub lids. I'm going to be using a pallet knife to sign your work with. I'm going to use a paint scraper. This is just a metal paint scraper. I'm going to be using this food tub, but I put a hole in the bottom. And I'm going to be using some plastic sheets. These are from a bag that I've cut up, so it's easier to use. So before I start, I'll just show you the line it produced. A bit closer. So as you can see, that's the line that the cap produced. I'm going to stick that there for now. Right then, the first thing we're going to do is do the planning outlines. So get the lids that you're using, I'm going to put one there, and one there. Then get whatever colour you're using and spray around them to give you an outline. I'm going to use a yellow for this, just spray some paint through the cap. So like I said before, I've not used these paints before. So with them being high pressure cans, they let a bit more paint out. In fact, I'll do that one yellow, and I think. I'll do the other one red. That's a paint through the cap. So. To be honest, being an high pressure can, the paint's coming out quite nice. Just have a spray there. 
yeah. Try this one. Quite nice, quite good control over the cap and the pressure and that. So we'll take the lid stencils back off for now. And now we'll fill the inside of the planet here, inside the outlines. First of all, I'll get the red. I'll do this one, so put a bit of red. Comes out nice when you press it down, not too much paint. Quite a good cap on these, but I like it. Bit of yellow. Put the paint anywhere. A bit more red, I think. Well, do get a black and the shadowed area. We'll cover the rest in. A bit of white. Did you see that? I never, never fed the paint through the cap before I sprayed it. So that's the white. I might just put. I cover yellow on this white. See what happens. Alright, then, so whatever material we're using to make the texture, like I said, I'm using the plastic sheet, which is from a bag that I've cut off. So, screw it up a bit. Reduce your lines on it for your texture, and we'll just place it over it, over the planet, and we'll give it a, a rub, and then peel it back off. So, I like that texture there. Quite a nice texture, so we'll move on to this one now. And I'm going to put a few spots of red here and there. I think that produced a nice, nice dot there. And the rest I'm going to do yellow. Filled it up quite nice, that. A bit of black and a bit of white. As you can see, it does let more paint out, so the paint spreads more as it hits the sheet, as you can see on the black here. So we'll get the plastic again. So we're going to make a texture with. And scrunch it up a bit. Might put a bit of this a few lines in it like that if you, and then scrunch it up so it's a bit different. And then place it over where you want your texture to go on your planet. Just give it a light rub. I think that one will do that. Just put it around there on the edge. See because I never pressed too hard on there. Left most of the white on there. If you want, you can just go around in places and just dab it a bit. Take some of the white off. So I'm going to leave it like that. So now we're going to add the highlights and shadows to the planets. First of all, this one, bit of white first for highlight. So let's see how well the cap is works for misting. Not too bad. Gotta have a bit of control over it because you press it too far down, it'll let a lot of paint out. 
So I'm just going to add a bit of yellow, I think, to this one. That come out pretty nice. Quite like the way that misted. So a bit of black for the shadow. And then the same on this one. Don't need much white on this one because there's quite a bit of white here. Just a uh, mist in. In fact, I might put a bit of see what the red's like for misting on there uh, on this one. Not too bad, that. Not overpowered. Right, now we'll do the black shadow here. In fact, I might just add a bit of yellow to that as well, I think. And a bit of white. Yeah, that's not too bad now. Right, so with the highlights and shadows done on the planet, it's now time to put your lid stencils back on. But ideally, you want the paint to be dry before placing the lid stencils on, so the lid stencils don't stick into the paint and leave rings on your planet where your lid stencil was. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and place the lid stencils on while the paint is still wet. Alright, so we'll get the lid stencils. For the first one here, just make sure you put some over the highlighted area and the shadowed area. I'm going to have that one there. And then the other one. I'm going to put there. So there your lid stencils on now. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the background. First of all, I'm going to do like some, I don't know, some like a galaxy or some colours here in the middle first, I think. So, I'm going to go a bit of yellow first. Doesn't let too much paint out really when you press the cap all the way down. I thought it'd let a bit more paint out being high pressure, but I suppose the skinny caps on them is reducing the amount of paint coming out. So now we're red. See, with the high pressure, you see it on the yellow now, covering most of it, because it's forcing the paint out a bit faster and more, so it, as it is, more like kind of overspray. Put a bit of white there, and think bit of bit of, bit of yellow here. Just in case you can do whatever you want in your paintings. I'll do a bit of yellow. Think bit more red. Bit more red there. Bit more red there. And then what I'll do is I'll cover it all in black. So the cap's spitting a bit now. still all right so I'll just do why I'm here I'll just go around these around these lid stencils a bit lighter so the camera had stopped recording while I was finishing off the black and doing a texture on the galaxy in the middle so I've gone back and resprayed it black and then I'm going to show you the galaxy now. For this, what you want to do is get a plastic bag or whatever you're using, like I'm using a plastic bag that I've cut up into sheets, and then just crunch it up, and then we're just going to place it on the black paint where you put the colours underneath. So, and 
and pull it off and then put it on again. Produce your texture. I'll just fold this up a bit and put some. Just take your time when you're doing this. Just remember to touch it. That's where you want it to lock. Piece. Do a bit more on the edges here. So. A bit more on this edge. So I like how that's looking, so I'm going to leave it like that. So now with the black, I'm just going to go round it a bit, round the edges. Right, so with the black still, we're going to do this side of it. Just fade the top in there, and then down the edge, a bit there, around this bottom edge. Now with the red, just gonna like kind of fade it back into the black. Just take your time when you're doing this. There's no rush. So let's see how well this mists now. Not bad, I quite like that. Might just put a bit of yellow. Just light. I like quite like that. I'm just going to go back to the black. Fade the red back into the black now, just lightly. And this side. That's a galaxy done in the middle. I think I might just go around these planets, put a bit of colour here, see how it's like when you're spraying towards a lid. Do like kind of an atmosphere or something around the planet so it looks like the light's shining off. I think I'll do the yellow, I think. So let's see how it works. So just lightly. I'll do the same on this one as well. A bit of yellow. Well, like that. Now I'm going to go to the black. I think I'm just going to put a bit of black here and there. And this side as well, not much. And a bit on this side. Gonna put a bit of yellow there, I think. There, and then fade it back out like that. 
Now we'll get the white and we're gonna add some stars to it. So what you wanna do is spray the white on your finger here. Like that, on your fingertip. And then what you wanna do is before you flick the white paint onto the painting to make your stars, flick it a couple of times away from the painting so you don't get big white blobs on your painting. It doesn't look like stars. Spray a bit on your fingers, flick it away a couple of times and then flick it onto your sheet to produce the stars. It's up to you how many stars you put in your painting. So a few round there. Put a few in the middle of the galaxy. So that'll do for the stars. So I want to add the star to this painting, a big star using the paint scraper. But I'm not really sure where to put it. Because I quite like the galaxy and I was going to put it in the middle here. But I'm not really sure. I think I'm going to put it... I'm going to put one here and one here somewhere I think. With the metal paint scraper and the white paint. We'll do the lines on the stars. Yeah, I'll put one here so it's not over the galaxy. So you can still see it. So what you want to do is spray the paint about there because the overspray will make the stars, the lines on the stars. So back over these I think and just remember to watch out for the build up of paint on your scraper because you don't want that dropping onto your painting so just give that a, a quick wipe off gonna go back over these, start, these lines I think down here so remember keep your eye on that paint build up so you can see it's building up so wipe it Do a tiny one here, just, just a... thing one there, and I think I'll just do a thing one here. So as you can see, I didn't hit it right there. So, so what you can do if you do something like that and you don't really like it, you could always just put a bit of black over it and then get your white paint. And then just add a few stars to it. It looks like the background again. Still got a bit of white there, but you can hide that in a minute. So what we'll do now is we'll add the middle to the stars. Light press on the cap. See, so that's produced hell of a lot of paint that adds. I only pressed it light on this one. With it being high pressure paint, it pushes the paint out more, you see. So a lot more comes out. See, I only really pressed that lightly there. 
So you see how the stars have come out now, big pools of white paint there. So that's because this high pressure can pushes the paint out a lot faster. So what you could do now to knock these down a bit so they're not as bright, get the yellow. Form yellow stars. It's just with it being high pressure, it can be hard doing stuff like this. See? And then it just produces bigger spots. So what I'm going to do now, for, because of the way it's gone, because it's given big white spots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cover them up. So. It's a good thing with spray paint, if you make a mistake, you can always cover it up. Right, now they're covered up, so now we're going to have to build the background up a bit again. We'll get the red again. Put a bit of yellow in it. And then with the black, just blend them back in again. to add some more stars to it now the same principle as before put the white paint on your finger and then flick it onto the sheet so that'll do for the stars right so I'm not going to add these big stars now because of what just happened as you saw all I'm going to do is I'm going to use this food tub with the hole in the bottom I'm just going to do some bigger white stars I might have a few coloured ones so put a few in there galaxy like that get a few yellow ones if you want red ones here and there it shows up stars added like I said I'm not going to put the other stars in for this one all right so now it's time to lift the lid stencils these may be a bit stuck because they've been on a while and they are so just take your time and lifting them so that's the first planet and then the second one so just take your time So I quite like the texture on these, so I'm just going to get a black and just go over this part here. So like I said, I like the texture on these planets, but as you can see around this one here, some of the black spray paint from the background has come under the lid and gone onto the planet. Right, so the last thing we're going to do is sign the painting. So grab your palette knife or whatever you're using to sign it with. I'm just going to sign it here, where the paint's wet. So 
So I think the Cobra HP worked well for spray paint art, apart from when doing finer things like the middle of stars, it just let a little too much paint out, but with the use of some tools, like a stencil or changing the cap, it would work fine. The red skinny stock cap that came with the cam worked well and didn't let a huge amount of paint out, but for finer work it just let a little bit too much out. If I was going to use a Cobra HP for spray paint art, I would still use a stock cap as it did work well for most of the things in the painting, and with the aid of tools it should be good for finer things. The paint also dried pretty fast, which is good. The high pressure valve system gave a good control over how much paint came out when pressing the cap down harder, but when pressing the cap down lightly, I found it let just a bit too much paint out. This could be down to me using the paint for the first time and not being used to it, so it may take a bit of practice getting used to the pressure and how far to press the cap down when doing different things as each brand of spray paint is different, but overall I enjoyed painting with the Cobra HP spray paint and liked how the painting turned out in the end. I found it nice to use and the colours I used in the painting were bright. So I'll just bring the paint in a bit closer to the camera so you can have a look at it. So as you can see where the stars were, they're covered up. You can hardly see them now. So I hope you found the information in this video helpful and enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.